Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about OpenCore Legacy Patcher version 1.0.1. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Before upgrading to the newer version, let's look at what's new in this OCLP version. This OCLP version 1.0.1 is a bug fix release for some Broadcom Wi-Fi cards and graphics issues in macOS Sonoma. These updates are not critical, however, may help resolve issues with macOS. Moving forward and talking about its full change log. Resolved rendering issues on Intel Ivy Bridge iGPUs. Updated non-metal binaries for macOS Sonoma, like resolved unresponsive catalyst buttons, resolved window unfocusing issues, resolved menu bar fonts not changing color automatically with beta menu bar enabled and improved lock screen clock transparency. Prevents random Wi-Fi agent crashes, added error handling for corrupted patcher settings, removed core image patch for 3802 GPUs on Venture, avoided listing PCIe FaceTime camera patch on pre Sonomaoses, only cosmetic and repatching UI, however, removed to avoid confusion. Now to update OCLP on your device. Open OCLP from your applications folder or launch pad. After it opens, you'll be notified that an update is available for OCLP, click on download and install and, the new version will be downloaded, then proceed with the prompts. After you get this notification, click on yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the install to disk option and, then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed and, after that click on a CFI partition. Enter password when prompted. When you get the success message, click on yes. From the menu, click on the start root patching option and proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the reboot option and, while restarting, press and hold Commander Alt key and, boot to your Mac Startup Manager. From the Startup Manager, select EFI Boot and, press Enter and, then continue to boot. And you're done. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.